Hey Fiddle Babes, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I'm Andrea Siobhan and I'm currently a sergeant in the United States Army. I wanna say it's been so long since I've actually sat down and made a video like this, like my main style videos where I'm sitting down in front of the camera just talking to you guys. It's probably been over a year since I've actually made a video like this. One of the main reasons I actually had a lull time in my content would have to be um, me trying to figure out what direction i wanted to take my youtube channel in and i don't know so basically i kind of wanted to switch things up i don't really want to make military content anymore the military is still going to be incorporated in my content as always i mean i'm in the military the army is a big part of my life still but it was never my goal and it was never my vision to be that person on YouTube where I'm sitting down and I'm talking to you guys about regulations and how the leave process works or how pay works or that was never my intention because I feel like there is so many different YouTubers that already do things like that. Like you have access to those resources and that information already so being another person making that type of content that's just not something that i wanted to do what i wanted to do is i wanted to be showcasing my life as an active duty single mom that that's pretty much what i wanted to show you guys i wanted to show you real transparent day in a lives just sit down and like have chit chats and things like that just to be pretty transparent on my experiences and the things that i go through just in the hopes of maybe helping somebody else go through what i'm going through with a little bit more ease and i hope i'm not about to be stumbling all over my words because to be completely honest i didn't <laughs> I didn't really script this video usually I'll like write out some talking points and things like that but I didn't really do that as well as I wanted to again I have been away from this type of content that I make for so long so um, bear with me but ultimately ultimately I decided that I wanted to start over with my content and not necessarily starting over you know my YouTube channel of course but as far as navigating through becoming a youtuber i wanted to start that process over so i will watch a lot of roberto blake videos when i started off you know learning how to grow my youtube channel things like that so one of his videos he talks about having making a hundred what did he say it was like a hundred crappy videos basically make a hundred crappy videos and it doesn't matter what these videos are about just make a hundred crappy videos just to get a feel of what type of content you even like to make what kind of content your followers like what kind of content you feel most comfortable with and things like that and that's kind of where i was at to be completely honest i don't even know if i've even hit 100 videos on youtube which is why i thought this was still the perfect opportunity to start over so of course i'm still going to be doing my vlogs because i come to really enjoy my vlogs but i do want to start posting other videos uh one of them being story times just to be a little bit more transparent because i feel like when i say certain stuff in vlogs or in the past i would say certain stuff in certain videos i wouldn't go into details about like situations that i've been in and like traumatic experiences that i've had and i felt like now that i'm kind of away from the trauma i'm away from the drama i kind of work through some things i can be open and talk about them now, one of the other reasons why I wasn't really talking about those things was because, again, I was making military content in the style that I was making military content in. So in making that type of military content, I caught the eye of the actual army. Go Army would reach out to me and I was featured a few times on their platforms, which was really nice. Like I would get these opportunities, most of which I did not get a chance to um, take advantage of, but I would, they would reach out to me with these opportunities, um, like fly me out and basically like brand trips, but sponsored by the army, if that makes any sense. So because of the content that I was making, I was giving off this very formal, professional, even though I try to be professional at all times, especially when I'm in uniform, but I feel like because I was giving off this squeaky clean, professional, formal um, persona or perception, I felt like I was locked into that kind of content. I felt like that's what I had to do in order to continue to, I guess, 
don't know i don't know i don't know why it was such a big deal and why it was so important to me that the army felt like my content was so good that they wanted me to be like a spokesperson but it got to the point where i was still trying to carry on and do some of my vlogs as i told you all before in one of my past videos i had a first sergeant try to take my videos down because of something that i said in my video which i wasn't lying they tried to accuse me of lying and i wasn't lying in the video but simple things like that if if having the opportunities that the public affairs and things like that offer me means i can't be transparent with my followers i didn't want it so i stopped doing it it was just that simple i stopped doing it and on top of that i couldn't keep up that persona especially when one i'm going through things and two i'm starting to see things about not even only the army because of course things happen all throughout the military but since i'm in the army i'm speaking about the army but more specifically i started to notice things that were not fair like it was just not fair it was things that i wanted to warn people about coming into the army especially being a woman i just wanted to basically talk about not only the good in the bad in the military but i wanted to talk about the ugly as well and since i wasn't able to do that being a token black girl i decided that i just needed to switch up my content altogether um go back to my original vision and do the whole lifestyle thing and then i can talk about whatever i want to talk about you know i'm not defaming anybody i'm not doing anything wrong by talking about my experiences and i felt like i was being shut down i wasn't being allowed to share my own personal experiences when people when they ask me so that was the reason those are the reasons i wanted to switch up my content I'm pretty sure i probably said that order again i'm trying my hardest to like do this unscripted but um yeah that's that's pretty much it so i'm going to be starting over doing probably story times um story times and vlogs i'm thinking that's kind of where i want to start life updates things like that so we'll see we'll see i understand in this transition to trying to find myself again i am going to be all over the place because y'all i'm telling you i i'm a person at the end of the day i'm a person just like everybody else and i go through things sometimes unfortunate and so i hope you guys stay along with me on this journey but um if you don't if you were expecting me to go back to my old style of content and that's just not something that i'm wanting to do not saying that i would steer clear from it all together but that won't be something that will be coming back consistently on my channel is those very sit down informational formal videos so if that's what you were here for i'm so sorry hopefully my new content will can make you stay but if you don't then i'm okay with that too so now that that is out of the way um i wanted this video to kind of be an update on where i'm at in my life whether or not that's my mental status my career my school like i just want an update i just want to give y'all an update because i've been y'all been seeing the vlogs but what, what am i actually telling you you know what i'm saying and i felt like again if i'm going to be as transparent as i want to be i need to be open with you guys so as far as my absence i will tell you right now mentally i have not been doing good i have not been doing good um my mental health over the past few years have definitely been on the decline and sometimes i have really 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 bad days i'm talking about <sighs> I'm talking about real bad days y'all and some days i have really good days you know um it, it, it just it, it just depends it just depends on i guess the day or the mood and I, i'm still trying to work through it i'm still trying to figure out why i even feel these things because along with feeling super depressed super anxious like i'm pretty sure i've been having anxiety attacks um along with feeling these things i also feel guilt because i feel like even though I go through things, even though I go through lows and highs with everything in my life, I still feel like I'm, I, I feel guilty and I feel ungrateful that I feel this way. Like I feel, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like, I have, I have a nice place to stay. You know, I have my kids. I had just bought a new car. I, I, I'm well off. I'm I'm so well off. I'm I'm in a way better position than I ever thought I would see myself in 
six years ago when I joined the army, but um, for some reason I don't feel sometimes, and I don't want to throw it up, throw up any red flags, but sometimes. I just feel like why is life worth living if I'm going to feel like this so often. I've been working through a lot of this stuff by myself, talking to family, talking to friends, just trying to surround myself by people that are positive. And it's still an ongoing battle for me. So that's literally where I'm at. That's that's honestly it. I, I genuinely have been so drained and so tired. I've been going through it, but that's pretty much i guess where i'm at when it comes to where i've been that's that's a big chunk of it that's a big chunk of it because i i just can't like i can't get myself to get up and do anything so that's that <laughs> a lot of that when it comes to when it comes to feeling like that i i don't know i want to contribute it to because again i've been trying to work through this by myself and so i want to contribute it to not knowing where i want my life to go or not really knowing what direction my life is heading in like for example schooling for the longest time when it came to the army i wanted to do the ipad program that's what i wanted to do and then when i became a 68 charlie i kind of flip-flopped and i'm like well if i'm going to be an lpn i might as well go ahead and do nursing so i kind of stopped what i was doing when it came to the ipad and I tried to do do the AEC, the ACP program, which is the Army Nursing Program. I had an opportunity to go up to the hospital and work there for a few months. And when I say I just didn't like what I felt, I didn't like the individuals. I didn't like what I was being told about what happens after you're done and you graduate from school. And that's, that's the part that scared me. So then out of nowhere, I don't even wanna do that program. Maybe I should just get my nursing degree on my own because ultimately that was my end goal is to get my nursing degree. And with the way work is going, like being in a unit where I am responsible for a lot of soldiers and I do take on a lot of responsibility I am a single mom and I am in school at first like literally last semester I was in school full time like a dummy I don't understand why I do these things to myself but I felt like I wasn't going anywhere like I feel like I'm taking all these classes and I'm doing all this stuff but where am I actually going I don't I don't see the progression and then when I realized I I don't really know what I want to be doing I kind of just lost it like I stopped writing in my notebooks I didn't have any plan and because you guys know me I'm always working towards a goal I wasn't working towards anything and within that time period of not having anything to work towards I just felt lost I felt purposeless no fulfillment I just felt I felt I don't know I just felt low I felt like I was stagnant and I felt like I wasn't doing a damn thing with my life. I'm going to be completely honest. So um, when it came to my schooling, that's still kind of up in the air. I feel like I'm in a place where it's coming back to me and I'm kind of remembering and I'm refocusing. So that's starting to make me feel a little bit more grounded and a little bit more stable. Then when it comes to my job, y'all. So I started off in one unit. I ended up being moved to another unit because I had someone bothering me being inappropriate at the last unit or company whatever I was in and I was moved to another company only to get to this company and I just didn't feel like I fit in I just didn't feel like I fit in and I felt isolated so that's another thing when it comes to my mental health and work and all that stuff it's like I'm at work and I'm trying my hardest to be a stellar soldier like I think I am and I just felt so isolated and I would show up to work the soldiers made me feel welcome. I will say that the soldiers made me feel welcome. Like I had a place to be. Um, but when it came to my leadership, I felt like because of the circumstances I came to that company under, I was a problem. I felt like I was looked at as a problem and I couldn't let that feeling go. That's a whole nother story that I don't even know if I would ever tell it because I don't, I don't know if that would result in me getting in trouble but just know when your gut feeling is telling you something just go with it just just always go with it <laughs> i know i'm being really vague i can't talk about it here because it's going to take up too much time as well as being in a somewhat toxic or counterproductive i would say unit um it's just 
it's it just needs a video of its own so if that's something that you are interested in make sure you leave it down below and I will try my hardest to make that happen as tastefully as possible on top of the way I've already been feeling, I'm, I'm going to contribute my feeling down and feeling low and feeling isolated is going to be, I move around a lot. I do. I move around a lot. I move around way too much. Mia is four and we've already moved about five times and it's just exhausting at this point. It's exhausting because I can't make real friends like that, you know, I can't build a sense of community moving around like that. I can't have a routine moving around like that. Darion can't do sports and they can't, they, they've gotten used to not really making friends because they know they're gonna be leaving in about six to 12 months, you know? So I'm just hoping and I am just praying that the next place I get to, I am gonna be there for a while. I'm hoping it's a good place actually. I'm hoping the place that I get to next is going to be a good place for me and my kids because i want to sit there for a while which brings me to my next update i was going to get out of the army y'all i was so dead set i was dead set on getting out of the army that was it i was hanging it up done but i ended up re-enlisting for six more years <laughs> i am pcsing soon now i got here last may I got here, my report date was May 10th, 2021. So I've been here literally a little over a year and to be completely honest, I was not expecting to be leaving so soon. So when I signed my contract, I signed my contract in like the beginning of March. By the end of March, I already had orders telling me that I was gonna report in July. Super fast, was not expecting that to happen, but it did. Now here's the kicker. I am going back to Texas. I'm going back to Fort Sam Houston. I'm going back to Texas where I came from because I am reclassing again. I am, I am reclassing again. Um, reclassing, re-enlisting, moving so frequently and moving so soon. I'm going to be completely honest. I've been here for a year. I just introduced my kids to my unit for the first time. And for the last time yesterday or a few days ago yesterday what's today saturday friday so yes friday i just introduced my kids to my unit for the first time um yesterday after being here for a year and that's because i just i didn't like the way i felt or i didn't like the way i felt around these people you know why would i want to bring my kids around that and so it's also the whole attachment thing it's like when I was at Fort Stewart I was I didn't have a problem with it at all I had been there for so long I knew all the people my kids knew a lot of the people that I worked with and as frequently as I've been moving around I don't want to bring people into my kids lives that are going to be that temporary you know it's going to be that temporary and again it's just still the down that's that's just that's the downside of this whole ordeal so again, PCSing and moving on, I feel like that's what's got me feeling super isolated without a sense of community and things like that. Let's just hope that improves within the next year. Next, I am promotable. Um, just That was just a quick update that I wanted to throw in there, but I did finally go to the board and get my promotable status. If you follow me on Instagram, if you follow me on TikTok, you know I ran into some very questionable things coming from a coming from my chain of command when it came time for me to go to the board i felt unsupported i felt sabotaged i felt like um my chain of command was not wanting me to progress because of some of the things that was taking place and yeah it just it just sucked i really thought that i was just going to leave without my promotable status but because of how the regulation works, I ultimately ended up getting to go and I got my promotable status. So I am Sergeant Promotable Starks now. So that's a quick update. We'll see whenever I decide to make points or if points decide to drop, maybe I'll, <laughs> maybe I'll pin my six, but we'll, we'll see. Anyway, so I did say I was reclassing, right? So I am reclassing. Did I actually guess what I'm reclassing to yet? Guess, take a wild guess. Um, 
comment down below and let me know what you think I am reclassing to. If you follow me on Instagram and TikTok, which y'all <laughs> y'all really should. One, my Instagram blew up a little bit. And two, if you want to... Then again, I don't know how conservative y'all are. Never mind. Stay over here. I don't want y'all to judge me. I don't want to be judged. So just, just stay here. Anyway, so... Um, I'm reclassing. So, guess if you follow me on my other social media, you probably already know what I am reclassing to. But um, I'll probably put it in the next video after this one. But go ahead and guess. I want to see who, who, how many of you guys guessed correctly. Now, one of the downsides is I'm not taking my kids with me this time around. Um, as we know, as y'all remember, if you've been here and you watched my past videos you know I was this close to getting kicked out of the military for taking my kids with me last time because they don't have child care fun fact that's still something I'm advocating about I'm still advocating on a little bit more clear direction when it comes to child care because why not anyway so um, some of you may know that I almost got kicked out because of child care so I ended up calling my sister to come and live with me like I tried other things but ultimately she kind of dropped everything and she came to live with me to help me take care of the kids so she's up until this point she's been with me ever since and to be completely honest when I do get to my next place if I'm over here in the states um hell even if I'm overseas but I definitely wouldn't mind her coming back to live with me again um if she wants to, of course, because she's definitely been a place of peace in my mind. And when it comes to my anxiety, something just just somebody there, somebody to talk to. So I love my little sister to death. But um, yeah, she's not here right now. She um, she ended up going back to Iowa because, again, I'm not taking the kids with me to Texas. She went back to Iowa to spend time with my grandmother and our family because, you know, I'm from Iowa and it's bittersweet because now I'm just here, you know, I'm. I'm just I don't know I'm like just here it's me and the kids which is fine but it was just nice having her there to vent to about things that I go through day to day and not having that I can feel the absence the absence is strong here so that's been something that I'm adjusting to but it really made me realize how hard of a time I'm I'm gonna possibly have when I get to Texas not having my sister not having my kids at all for about a year that's about to be hard I have not I don't even I can't even I don't even I don't even know <laughs> I don't even know so I'm not taking my kids with me again because I have a lot riding on finishing this um, AIT and getting this MOS and on top of that when I went to Charlie's school, it was really hard just having them, having them there. I feel like with them not being with me, I'll be able to focus. I'll be able to do what I have to do because I have some big goals. I have some big goals and some things that I want to accomplish out of this MOS because I'm hitting the ground running this time. Like I really am. I'm hitting the ground running and I just, I felt like it was just time for a change and I don't want anything to get in the way of me being successful at this. I know some people tell me that that sounds bad. Like, oh, your kids are going to hinder you. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that my kids are going to hinder me. I'm just simply saying it is challenging, you know, going through something as rigorous as these AIT, especially these medical MOSs while being by yourself with no support and having to study and then my son's 11 he has homework and stuff that I would have to be helping him with as well and it's just I just I just feel like it's for the better I just feel like it's better this way by the time this video comes out Darion will have been dropped off with his um with his dad I will be in a process of getting ready to take Mia to my family because Mia won't be going with her dad. She'll be with my family um, simply because her dad's active duty too and he's in the middle of a PCS as well. It's hectic right now, y'all. It is hectic and it is stressful and I'm just, I low-key, I low-key have been going through it. So that's just a quick little update. I hope this video was not too long. I really did not want this video to be long at all. So if you have not already, please subscribe to my channel. I am on the road to 10K subscribers by the end of the year. I don't know. I don't know. I feel, 
I feel like it's achievable if I can, you know, do what I was doing before and be more consistent. Um, but that's the goal. That's the goal. I know I've been in my, I know I've been absent, but again, I hope my explanation did something for you. So if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button, comment down below. Let me know how you guys are doing. Oh my God. That is so rude of me. How are you guys doing? What is wrong with me? Okay, comment down below because I've shared some of my mental struggles with you guys. I want to know if anybody else is feeling the way I'm feeling because I will say I have a few of my friends that have been going through it as well. Is it like some like what's going on? What's what's going on where everybody's feeling like down and depressed about themselves? It's really weird because a lot of my friends have been going through this and I'm pretty sure we're not the only ones so comment down below and let me know how you guys have been doing seriously because I'm gonna I'm gonna talk openly about the some of the things that I've been going through and I'm just hoping it can be one therapeutic for me but not only therapeutic for myself but I want you guys to be able to um, talk to me and talk talk amongst the comments and things like that that's that's pretty much the space I want to build at this point <laughs> So yeah, um, if you have not already, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 10K. Follow me on my other social medias. And the other goal that I have for my channel is again, just kind of finding my footing, being a little bit more consistent than I have been and just enjoy being back. So I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, I wanted to explain my hair y'all i wanted to explain my hair i meant to do that at the beginning of the video but um yeah so i have these two twists here that's how i always wear my hair and then these two side pieces here i had those straightened and then they were curled a little bit right it was super cute i stepped outside for a split second and that north carolina humidity completely completely just shriveled up my two little side pieces going on here so yeah that's why my hair looks like that but um okay <laughs> this is the end of the video bye